talk a little bit about circular motion. I watched the judo matches last year, and it was a lot of forward and back. There wasn't any setup. And, and setup is how you're going to get guys. You know, very seldom Steve's drills, he usually goes where I'm going right now, but he wanted me to do it. Uh, but these lateral movements, you're very fortunate. You won't get a, a top player to move laterally more than a step. And usually they're little stutter steps, making it difficult. So we have to set these things up. So when I've got my grip right here, I want you guys to step as though you're doing Osoto. Think of your arms as just connecting you two, all right? I'm not really pulling greatly with my arms. It's my body momentum that's going to swing this guy and then I'm going to follow that foot. Okay? Now, some people just play it live, and we're going to do different techniques. But you may as well, as you go here, follow that foot right there. There's your Akuriyashi Barai. So we're in here, right? I want to step outside with, with a lot of momentum, and I'm just going to use my arms to connect me. It's mainly my body momentum that is swinging my, and if the feet come together, there I am. If I miss, I'm going to go in link techniques together, all right? Get the idea of swinging your opponent first. Today, we're going to move two ways. I'm going to step outside left, as I'm doing now, which I call the number one position, and I'm going to step outside right, which I call the number two position, all right? Right now, we're doing the number one, so we'll call it Tai Sabaki, number one position, all right? And we're going to step outside, sweep right there. All right, got it? Let's try it. Show that reaping action. I'm not just stepping in and planting my foot. I, you know, my, there's many ways to enter Osoto, but let's just take the standard for this technique of stepping forward. Point the toes. I'm sweeping about calf to calf. And once I get there, and I don't want to land him in his head, but once you're pointed like that, that foot is sweeping, and my head goes down like a teeter-totter, you know? And uh, you know where I practice reaping motions? I have a swimming pool. Or when I go up to Lake Erie and East Harbor, I get out in the waves about chest time and do Uchimata's and Osotogari sweeps as fast as I can. I'll do 20, 20, 20, and then 10, 10, 10. So I'll start 10s then where I'm going faster. The water is a perfect resistance for training these sweeps. You think about the old isokinetic units, but how do you set up, you know, they're, they're awkward. It's very hard to duplicate the exact motion, but in water, it's a perfect resistance for working the foot sweeps. It's great resistance. The faster you go, the more resistance the water gives you, right? She sees me over there. I'm doing uchimatas in the pool all the time. My pool's not quite deep enough because the foot exits the water and goes a little higher, whereas if you go up in Lake Erie about chest high, that's perfect. Now one prerequisite from that, for that type of training is that you know how to swim, alright? <laughs> <laughs> John Sealer, I drowned, I'm really pissed, you know, I had to be revived. Here, foot's up here, sweep, head goes down. He's pointing his toe, he's not aiming the toe with down. his heel. That's where a lot of people make mistakes, new guys make mistakes. Don't aim with your heel, see that toe point like a ballet dancer? You know, John had extensive training in ballet. Did you know that? Yeah. It looks really <laughs> ballet tight. So great. It's great. So and great to see me in my pink tutu. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's sweet. That's yeah. how the anyway. college got that way. <laughs> well, but that's you know the where point. the image, Steve is a stickler for Japanese terminology. He knows a lot of Japanese terminology. And uh, I don't care if you know Japanese or not, but sometimes it's very instructive, you know? In the Osotogari, Gari means reaping, and reaping was with a sickle. They used to huh? harvest rice in Japan with a sickle, or a right. scythe, or something. Yeah, yeah a scythe or sickle. They'd reap the, the rice, and that was the image of cutting that leg or reaping that leg out from under it. And it's not just a plant and pushing down. That's schoolyard stuff. We used to do this in the schoolyard. You know, one guy would fall down, the other guy would get on him, and we'd beat each other up, right? Okay, so. No, it isn't that. It's a reaping action. And when you so, do that, you throw them harder. You, know, you levitate the guy. <coughs> it's a knockout throw in okay. UNESCO. Uh, Yoshi Sada, Yanni UNESCO had a devastating Osoto guard. He accidentally knocked a lot of people out from time to time. They just lay there unconscious because he skied him and landed them.
Kimura. He wasn't being mean. He just had such a powerful Osoto. Kimura, Kimura. of old days. Legendary for Osoto Garden. Mm -hmm. Knocking people clean out with Osoto. He had great Neiwaza too. But he never had. He didn't have to do it all that often. <laughs> and you want to talk about transition. What better transition could there be than throwing a guy flat on his head, on his back and his, his head. You ring his bell. He's out on Queer Street somewhere. <laughs> what a great time to take a submission. Mm -hmm. I mean, right? Mm -hmm. So, and you choose the starting position. Instead of spending 15 minutes trying to work around some rubber guard or some Gumby doll type guard where he bends this way and that way and scoots them all around, you slam him, you're already around the guard, right? You're already past the guard. All you need to do is check the hip immediately so he can't shrimp and, and bam, you're on him, right? Great way to start. Now let's look at some other attacks from the number one, number one position, Tai Sabaki. A lot of attacks possible. And let me preface it by, usually people don't stand nicely like Mike Square. They stagger their stance like this. And why do they do that? Because if I come square in for a hip throw, for example, my hip misses. I miss the target, my hip slides off. If I try really stagger, just put that defensive stage go on yeah. So I can't reach OG, right? My hip slides off its target. If I attack Osoto, he's already braced. He's going to throw me with Osoto because his back leg is back and braced. Like when you push a car, he's in a strong position to throw me with Osoto. It's like 80-20 his favor. Unacceptable percentages. So let's talk Ochigari inside trip. Wrestlers hit it. Good MMA technique. Uh, but you won't get it standing still with one foot back like the guy is in a stance when you clinch. So, we do the number one Tai Sabaki. Right here it is. There's Ochi, or double, you know. Thanks, I didn't. <laughs> Great, okay. So here you go, back again. Yeah, okay, you don't help me too much. So, I get that swing, boom, right there. There's the inside trip and I drive down with it. Real All quick. Right. Anyway, this puts back. Uh, you may find when, when you get him into that square stance, you notice how it puts him in that square stance? That's where we want people, but unfortunately, they don't come out and fight you this way because it's a horrible position. We want to put him in that position of weakness. Now, oftentimes, it's not going to be one big step. In fact, the best guys don't follow that. It's going to be a little series of stutter steps, you know? You know, a little, d -d 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 you'll hear the feet moving. Real good guys, you hear, you know, the feet sound like a machine gun because they're stuttering, bop, 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 you know. So little steps, swing them, there it is. And I don't know if I'm going to attack that. This is good for Sayoi because you got the target for your hip now. It's good for, you know, other hip throws for heavier guys. You see, and remember what I said, staggered stance, real extreme a lot of guys fight extreme. I come in for my hip, not, it's not hitting. I want my hip to hit a guy like a battering ram. I want to leave a bruise. Mitch Santa Maria can leave bruises right here. I was his training partner. I would come home with a big bowling ball sized bruise where when we drilled his hip was hitting me. You know, that's what Yanni wanted. So you get the point though, right? This is no, I don't have a chance for an inside trip. If I'm reaching out here, I'm dangling the leg, waiting to get swept. In the old days, when they were allowed to hybrid style, Russian guys would pick you up and slam you, you know. They liked leg grab techniques. Robert Vandewald would have your ass this high in the air before he slammed you, right? So anyway, here's what we're doing. Look at his stance. Oh, cool. You know, I lower my level. One final thing, let's say you feel like you're doing the splits, maybe I'm too stretched out. I adjust, I bring this in a little bit. If I'm out, just shuffle step in like a, a fencer steps, I think, right. you know, the, yeah. the stab, you know, or whatever they call it. Um, the fence. So, <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. So anyway, we step outside, 
If I need to adjust it, just real quick, shuffle it in. Lower my level. See where my belt is compared to him? Then the Ochi part of it is a circular motion. And I would just, I kind of like how he's bent his chest out on it, you know. All right? And just follow it down. Right away, pop up for garden pass. Okay? Got it? So you circle the guy, shuffle in. I'm, I've lowered my level. See, that's back here. I step in and I'm making that kind of circular motion. Alright? Give it a try. And alternate it with hip throws if you like. Mm. Swinging. Here's the thing on the hip throw. There's my first step already. I don't have to take it. Whereas otherwise I'm gonna go one, two. If I swing him and leave that foot there, I just turn. Back step. I only need to back step. Reduces your time by a fraction of a second. And oftentimes that little fraction is the difference between him hip blocking and cutting. In other words, his opportunity to defend. You hit him before, when that fraction of a second, if it took me a fraction of a second longer, he would have blocked me. So we're trying to shave, shave time off of your throw. Can you show that movement again and spin with the tricep back to the back? Right? So the lead foot, the one I would normally step with, you know, for hip throws, I don't have to. If I swing it, there it is. I just left it. Now all I got to do is a back snap, see? Or for different size guys. Shorter, Seonagi, taller, maybe Uchimata, Hirai Goshi, that kind of thing. Okay, here we go. All right, good.